presents a presentation of Anime Championship Wrestling, a standard of CAW. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 ACW Elite Tournament. I'm Hawking Johnson, your ACW commentator as always, here for the Cruiserweight Clash. Coming up next, our third match of the first round, the Brothers Collide as the tag team of D2 meet each other between Davis and Dennis. Who's advancing to the second round? We find that answer out in a matter of moments. Davis here, making his way to the ring here first. We'll take a look at his status here. His signature maneuver, the final call on this devastating elbow to the back of the head. Part of the Little Fighter series. He is a former XL Tag Team Champion with Woody back in the days of the Little Fighters. Division. They have been impressive ever since it's Davis. The face his brother Dennis here has taken a look at his status. His devastating war wing kick also from the Little Fodder series. As he is teaming up. Davis here as a part of D2. As Dennis has also competed for Cruiserweight title matches in the past, has never quite reached that level of being champion. Well, let's here we go. Our third match here in the first round. The winner of this matchup will take on the winner, Sumi Hara, Sano Gakushu. Look at this, the brothers staring at each other. They know what this means for both of them here tonight if they advance. Our entire lockup, and here we go. Davis, obviously, the stronger of the two, is going to push back Dennis to the ropes here, and the referee's got to get in there. Let's see how this really uh, develops throughout this match. Because let's be clear here, Davis, at the start of the season, he was pretty much done being a tag team wrestler. He wanted to go on a solo run on Impulse after the breakup of the Little Fighters with Woody. There is no more Woody anyways, but he was very hesitant on being a tag team partner, especially with Dennis. We still don't know why. Davis continues to block every offense from the ball. Except that shot. Davis with a big elbow. Oh, and a headbutt by Dennis. And things are starting to get a little real very quickly. And Davis stomping Dennis down to the mat. Dennis trying to get his footing back on the outside here. Davis rushing. Dennis with a kick right across the face. Dennis waiting from the top rope. Hurricanrana sends down Davis. Great athleticism from Dennis, as always. Dennis has a double drop. Nope, Davis able to move out the way there. Davis now continuing the onslaught of strikes here on his brother. Big knife edge chop there. Not looking good for Dennis so far. Knee, no. Dennis blocks with his own knee. Up drop, big block. Body splash. Sends down Dennis. Shoulders are down. Here's the cover. One. And no, only one. Very intense back and forth between the two brothers here. Oh, oh what a form! 
Davis rolls out of the ring. I don't think he even expected that far. Take a look at the offense so far in this matchup. As Dennis would come with a nice top rope for Corona, sending Davis down, but then Davis answer back, counter the drop with a splash of his own. And then look at this big elbow right across the face of Davis, making him roll out of the ring as we're back live. Dennis, he wants the smoke. He wants all the smoke Davis can bring him. There's a level of respect between the two, but there has to be some competition as well between the two brothers. This is where egos get involved. They either help or they hinder a relationship. That's Dennis with a nice tornado DDT. On point as well. Cover. Shoulders are down. One. And once again, only getting the one count. On to Davis. And wait a minute, Davis able to grab the leg there. Shrimp here falls through, needs the midsection. Upside does it once again here. Davis now, Russian leg sweep onto Dennis. Just like that, you can see the different styles between the two brothers. Dennis is more high paced, aerial attacker, can fly anywhere you can. And then there's Davis, very methodical technical wrestler in every sense of that word. Can really break down any body part you give him. We'll see which one prevails. And that's a great thing about this cruiserweight division as Dennis ducks that kick from Davis. Drop kick to the back. And another drop kick. No! Davis clotheslines. Dennis right back down to the ring. Cover. One. Two. And kicked out by Dennis. So I was trying to say the great thing about this Cruiserweight division is that there's a lot of unique and different styles than just one style that goes all across the spectrum. That's what makes this Cruiserweight division unique. That's why this Cruiserweight clash is very important in what it's going to do for the Cruiserweight division moving forward. Davis continues to work on that leg of Dennis. Both, both men here know each other very well. They're brothers. They are tag team partners. They know how... Their strengths and weaknesses are accentuated in every match. Big double X handle there by Davis as Dennis has been grounded. And this is where Davis goes to work. And this now Davis turns him over for a single leg grab. And now Dennis is the one on the defensive. Davis is not letting go of that leg. As awkward as a Thanksgiving reunion this would be. Dennis is going to have to fight out of his brother's um, situation here, and he does. But how much damage did that crab do to that leg? For a drop kick, Davis able to block it. Big elbow there by Davis. Kick to the midsection. And close lines. Dennis outside to the ring. And Davis is in firm control. Like he's dictating the pace. He knows where to pick his spots. He knows how to break down Dennis. He knows Dennis and his moveset. Davis is doing an effective job canceling out any hopes of Dennis flying out of the ring like an aerialist. He's done very good. Dennis continues to attack that leg. Dennis finally able to push away Davis. But will that be enough? Can that be enough? Picks up Dennis. Matt, a oh, big elbow there. He laid that in thick. And Dennis dumps Davis to the outside. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is Dennis trying to do here? Whoa, whoa, my God! What a maneuver! What a punch of there by Dennis. Look at this again. Cleared the landing. No ropes whatsoever, all hang time. What a plancha. We are back live here, and Dennis just like that has completely turned this thing around to his favor. And that's why Davis was trying to grant him this entire time. Because whenever Dennis flies around, you cannot stop that man. Now what's this? Davis is down in the seated position here. Dennis from the top rope. Oh, no! 
Davis caught that body. What is he looking to do here? Oh! Backbreaker away. He caught him still. Two consecutive backbreakers. And Dennis has to crawl. As, oh, what a hip attack by Davis. And just like that, every time Dennis tries to get back momentum, Davis is there to squander it. Gives the big right. Goes for a wheel kick, did not make it there. Oh, wait a minute. Final calling. Bam! Got it! And he did not see it coming. Cover. There's one. There's two. There, no, no! Only a two count from that final calling. Maybe Dennis is so used to Davis putting that upon his opponents. It didn't affect him as much as a normal opponent would have went through with that. I don't know. But Dennis is able to persevere through it. But now this is just going to make Davis more determined to put away his brother. Now Davis from the middle rope here. What is he planning to do here? Davis is going to go for an aerial move here. From the middle rope. Oh, no! Davis about to bust in his ass on the mat there. And now Dennis. Oh, wait, Davis. Kick to the face. Davis coming up top here. And Dennis able to toss down Davis. That's probably why Davis doesn't go for high-risk maneuvers like that. As, oh! Oh, my God! Double foot stomp onto Davis right across the abdomen. And a spinning heel kick from Dennis. And the tide has turned. As you take a look at this final call from Davis, you would have thought that would have put away Dennis, but Dennis kept fighting with that double foot stomp from the top. Now, the question is... Dennis does have a trick up his sleeve. I think he's about to do it. Whirlwind kick, no! Davis saw it! He saw it! Oh my god, what an elbow! That knocked him loopy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, another final calling! And I think Davis has busted open Dennis. Shoots the half. There's the cover. There's two. And Davis has put away. His brother Dennis. What a hard hitting matchup. Dennis one more we kick away from advancing. But Davis with a big elbow. And then with another final calling on a bloody brother. Has knocked him off in the first round. And just like that, Davis has advanced to the second round. He will beat the winner of Soma Yukihara and Asano Gakushi. But Davis put in the work. It might have pained him to do it to his brother. But that is how much the stakes matter in the elite tournament. But Dennis has nothing to be ashamed of. He put in the work. Dennis now trying to get back to his feet here. Because Davis now stepping out of the ring. Dennis has to be disappointed here tonight with a loss. And it's bleeding profusely here. And Dennis showing a sign of respect to his brother Davis. Probably telling him, win the whole damn thing. There's the battle scar of Dennis across his bloody forehead. Folks, we'll see you next time for the next Cruiserweight Clash match of the first round. Good night.